Hello gentlemen, and today I'm going to be showing you a very nice way of training invention that's not too expensive and it's very good XP. Alright, so first thing first, you're going to want to get a certain level in invention so you're able to make weapon gizmos. Now, you need a certain amount of inspiration to do that, and once you're done that, you can you can make them. I'll have another guide how to do the inventions, but it's pretty straightforward and you learn it in the tutorial. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to make an augmenter, which you need these parts here, which you'll have on your screen. You need level 2 invention to get that, and you'll need level 3 invention to do the weapon gizmo. You'll also need a, no wait, well, let me find it, equipment siphon. Now equipment siphons require 27 invention, and these will give you experience points once you level up weapons that you've augmented. So that's very useful. So once you have enough to make a gizmo, I'll show you right here, you're gonna make one gizmo. That's gonna give you a little bit of XP. So you have 500, 600 XP for a gizmo. Once you've made the gizmo, you're gonna make an augmenter. I use incandescent energy because I have it in the bank, but you can use any energy you want. So once you have the levels, you're gonna make one. That's gonna give you a decent amount of XP as well. So once you've made both of these, you're going to want to customize your gizmo and you're going to put the perks. Now, depending on what stuff you have, you're going to try to find a perk. Like once you put five things, uh, just put, put five random things in there, you're going to see what they has. Some things like anti-theism will give you negative effects. Dragon bait will be, it'll be a lot of negative effects. You're just going to try to find something with positive effects. All right, so once you found something you want to do with nice perks that you might get, you're going to create and you're gonna get Undead Slayer, that's wonderful. So now I deal 2% damage to anything with what I put this gizmo on. So I'm gonna first, we're gonna use the Augmenter on the item. So we're gonna augment the Polypore Staff to an augmented Polypore Staff. Then we're gonna use a Weapon Gizmo with the bonus onto the Staff, and it's gonna give me a augmented with that buff. So we could check it right here. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do, and the main point of all of this, is that you're gonna want to level up your staff to level 10. And once you're level 10, you're gonna use the siphon that we talked about before, and it's gonna siphon the level, and it's gonna give you pure invention XP. In order to make a siphon, it might be a little bit difficult to get precious components, but once you have them, it's very, very useful. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna make that siphon, once made, use the siphon on anything that you have trained, and you will get a huge chunk of invention experience for only training your other skills. Some important things to notice is that once you have augmented anything, it becomes untradeable permanently, so I would only do it on certain items such as polypores, staff of lights, uh, I don't know, god swords if you want to, like Bandos god swords or something, because if you do not feel like losing a huge amount of of money on the expensive level tier 90 like a Drygor, Noxious, Seismic, Ascension, something like that, I suggest you don't use it. Obviously when you want to enhance those weapons, you want to have the best enhancement as possible, right? So there's no point in giving one of these mediocre low level enhancements onto it when you could simply just give it a, an amazing one once you're high level divination. So I'd wait until you're higher level before starting to think about enhancing really good items. Hope you enjoyed the guide. I'm going to be making more invention guides, um, a lot more helpful little pieces of information on invention in the near future. So just subscribe for more important videos, and as always, stay a gentleman.